Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the methods of capital budgeting, guys. So basically, there are totally indirectly there are totally five methods, guys. So these are majorly divided into two types. Those are nothing but traditional techniques and time adjusting or discount cash flow techniques. So in this lecture, we'll be going through the first topic, guys. This is divided into five different videos. So one, two, three, four, five, five topics in five different videos. So in this lecture, we'll be going through payback period method, which is a traditional technique to find the capital budgeting technique. Fine. Okay, so payback period. So from the name itself, we can say payback period. So if you invested some money in something, so how much time will you will it takes to for you to get the money back? So that is nothing but the payback method. So payback period is a defined as the length of time required to recover the initial cash outlay. So you're gonna get your cash out. So we are having a small formula, guys. So even without remembering the formula, also you can do the problem. So better to remember it once, guys. So payback period is nothing but initial investment by annual cost inflow. So this is nothing but your initial investment and this is nothing but your annual flow. Okay. So let us go through three examples guys so that you'll be having a clear idea. Three examples are of three different types. So you should get a clear idea guys. Don't worry. Okay. So the first example they gave is a project requires an initial investment of 20,000. So the investment initial investment is 20,000 with a useful life of five years. So the length of it is five years, the project to profit and the loss according to the project disclosure of profit after two years, after after tax is 8,000 every year. Okay. So for each, for project which has no, no slavage, so that is nothing but no depreciation means it is nothing but there is no decrease in it yearly. So is depreciated on a straight line based. What is the payback period? So we know that the payback period is nothing but the formula is initial investment by annual cash inflow. So the inflow is 8,000 and this is 2,000. So 2,000, sorry 20,000. 20,000 by 8,000 is nothing but 2.5. So that is nothing but 2.5 years. So please remember that 2.5 years not is not equal to 2 years and 5 months. It is equal to 2 years and 6 months guys. Please remember that. While you are doing this 0.5, you just multiply it with 12 guys, not with a 10. Fine. So you will be getting 2 years, 6 months. So it takes two years, six months to achieve your 20,000 goal. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. Okay. So once we are going through these two problems, you'll be having a hundred percent clear idea guys. Don't worry. Okay. So a project requires an initial investment of 20,000 and generates the following CFs. Okay. CF is nothing but cash inflow guys for five years. So year one, two, three, four, five cash inflow, 6,000, 8,000, 5,000, 4,000, 4,000. So calculate the payback period. So the trick here I'll be using is nothing but initially reach till 20,000 guys. So add this to it will be 14,000. Add this to it will be 19,000. So till third year you got 19,000. So you need just a thousand for more to reach to 20,000. But if you add this, you're gonna get reached to 23,000, right? So from this 23,000, you need only thousand to make your goal. So once you reach that thousand, so that will be your payback period guys. So it is greater than three years and less than four years from the question itself. Just by observing, you can say guys. So further moving on, you'll be writing a table in this way, guys. So one, two, three, four, five cash inflow. So you'll be writing cumulative cash. So this into this initially with zero, this with this two, this three, then these four, then these five. So we got in this way. So your investment is 20,000. So 20,000 is in between third year and fourth year, right? So the initial cash that is nothing but 20,000 is obtained between third year and fourth year. So third year plus a thousand will be our requirement. So that is what we have doing guys. So this will be your investment and the, that month the annual income is not, sorry inflow is 4,000. So you'll be dividing them. So you got 0.25. So 3 plus 0.25, 3.25. So 3.25 is nothing but three years and three months. So you got the fee pay, payback period guys. So we require three years, three months to get our money back. So if you are running for five years, whatever you are getting the 17,000 extra will be your profit. Fine. Okay, so further moving on to one more, a bit complex problem now. So here he gave two different projects guys. So the following details shows in the below are the for two, for, for two projects. So this project, the cost of the missionary is 4 lakhs and for this it is 5 lakhs. So you need to calculate for this and for this. So let us do the same process that we have discussed. So this is 2 lakhs. So till here it is 4 lakhs. So exactly at the third year only you are reaching it. So this payback period will be 3 years. For this it will become, again for this also it is 3 years. Three, four, five. It's really directly. The question is direct, guys. Okay, so I think uh, 
Just give me a second, guys. Four lakhs. This is three lakhs. Oh, all right. Okay, let us go to the solution. We'll be, we'll be understanding it, guys. Okay, don't worry. So I have just divided the table into two parts, guys. Project A, Project B. Cash, cash cumulative, cash cumulative. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. The thing that I did, I did it here is this is not six, five lakhs. It will become six lakhs, right? Three, four, five, six, six lakhs. Sorry for that. It's not three years. You'll be getting three. Less than three years. Fine. Okay. So let us continue. Sorry for that, guys. I didn't notice that. Okay. So you'll be adding the cumulative one. So you got here. So for four lakhs, you have just got it directly here. Whereas for five lakhs, it will be in between that. So project A initial investment is four lakhs. So we got exactly four lakhs at the year three. Fine. So project B, the initial investment is three lakhs. Sorry, it is five lakhs. Sorry for that. It is five lakhs. So it is in between the project B in two years and third year. So we'll be adding two year plus the left out amount is two lakhs. So two lakhs plus two lakhs by three lakhs. Okay. So two lakhs by three lakhs, you got six point six seven. So if you use Calc, point six seven into two is nothing but eight guys. So it is two years, eight months. So you may ask me that how I got this two lakhs by three lakhs. So till here it is three lakhs, right? So our investment is five lakhs. So the left out amount is two lakhs. So two lakhs by the left out amount here it is three lakhs. So two lakhs by three lakhs is nothing but your point six seven. So point six seven it's eight months. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this payback period. So in the next lecture we'll be going through the second done that is nothing but average account or rate of return. So it is popularly called as ARR. Guys, this ARR is frequently seen in the question papers. Guys, please practice it perfectly. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.